Hi guys, Jeffy from TAT. We're doing an interesting job in the workshop today, this Ford Terrick and Ford Ranger with ABS traction control problems. Had this car presented to us today with an intermittent traction control ABS fault uh, coming up with uh, the, the warning light. It's a 2013 Ford Ranger or that PX model, so in that range, uh, 3.2 litre, but it's a common issue with the rear differential wiring. So if it comes through, I can show you exactly what happens on this particular vehicle. And we do have a case study up on file for it. This harness here, and we've got it on the hoist, so it's dangling down. But you can imagine once it's up, it's, it's moving all the time. So this harness is going like this all the time, especially if it does a bit of off-road stuff, and eventually it breaks this wiring in here. So if you've got any issues with these sorts of vehicles, make sure you have a really good look at this wiring harness here and at the top because that's where they traditionally break, up, up at this point, or even more importantly, right here at this point here. So again, any issues, probably would suggest if you're working on one of these vehicles, is to have a look at it when it's on the hoist. You're in for a service, have a look to make sure that wiring's in good, in good order. They are commonly breaking in that particular point. As I say, we've got a case study already, a repair solution on, on our system, uh, which we'll highlight as well, but that's the common area to make sure we have a look at. I suppose we've got any hoist, car on a hoist nowadays with ABS and traction control and things like that. Having a good look at wiring harnesses when you're having an inspection of a service is a great idea, especially looking at those pivot points where wiring has to pivot because it's on, a, you know, on an axle or whatever, uh, and so you're getting that wiring movement all the time. Hopefully that helps you out. If you're a TAP member, don't forget to utilise all those repair solutions. If you're not, maybe go to tap.net.au and join up with the many other thousands of technicians and uh, workshop owners, etc., sharing information, knowledge and experience. See you next time.